if the community is together uh, and if both the school are together because many of the Muslims uh, in Delaware live far places if both the schools are together then they they it, it is more uh, uh, cost effective uh, to buy buses which can bring children even from Wilmington because Wilmington is a, is a, is a uh, big city where there is no Islamic school and their children wants to come here and uh, then Hokesson, Pike Creek, Middletown all these neighborhood regions I mean if you see the dynamic network is, 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 is one part but surrounded by many cities from the Middletown, from the Wilmington, from the Hokesson and uh, even up to the Acton so it is surrounded by many cities and the children can come from those uh, towns if we provide transportation because obviously it is difficult for uh, parents to um, uh, 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 to drop and pick every day but certainly if we have buses and uh, then more children will come and in order to buy the buses in order to uh, make them cost effective we need more student to come in the buses uh, so if both both the schools work together then certainly it is very well possible yeah. and uh, and sister Amna as you know is, is a PhD in education and uh, and the principals of the IED is also uh, very well educated both can be used to come up and to come up with the plans um, about educating uh, teachers developing new, uh, new teachers developing more resources I mean all those are doable things the thing is that uh, just we need to decide to sit together mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure uh, um, if, if, if the uh, responsible people in the community sit together they will come up with a good plan for all those issues now from from practical aspect <clears throat> what about buildings because you know, physical space for the schools is, is an important aspect of a school. Uh, we have IED with a building uh, which unfortunately is not further expandable. Uh, Tarbiya is in a, is in a rented building. Uh, so how would just that, that one big issue of the building can be resolved? I think this is a very, very... Uh important question and as you know that the um, IAD school uh, now is completely you can say saturated you cannot expand in that locality there is no parking even the road couldn't afford and I don't think so even the land use would give any permission to expand the uh, building of the IAD or the ISD school uh, but the good thing is that um, which we never had in the past ISD is supporting the IED school financially and physically. Um, they are donating money to the IED school, they are paying their utilities, they are helping in all respects because they consider this as their school, which is a very good thing because in the past we had, um, we, we did not have that type of relationship with the Alham. Uh, so I welcome that approach and I think if we keep the same approach, um, ISD and Tarbiya um, can buy a building and if you look the building of the Tarbiya Tarbiya has though is in the rental property but the same rental property has about I would say four or five acre land and it is in fact bigger than the I, uh, ISD building and uh, if ISD and, uh, and Tarbiya come together and buy that building and could use not only for the school but also for the high school for the elementary and secondary plus the high school it, that building has that much capacity and certainly they if they come together they can look for different options as i mentioned that if they are together and if the community is with them and the help of the allah obviously will be with them because they are together then um, uh, they need to buy a, a new land and um, they also, uh, the new uh, building will also provide an opportunity to develop a mosque because as I 
they said that during the month of Ramadan, during the Friday prayer, you have seen there is no parking for the ISD. And the people are parking on the shoulders. And, um, um, uh, and, and, and ISD generally depend on the German town parking, which is a church parking. Um, Often times they don't give, then there is no parking. The parking, the ISD, I would say about 70 to 80 cars parking. And imagine they have a big mosque and then they have the school. At the most, um, they can, I would say that e even, even some people are parking on the fire lane, even then they park around 100 cars. Over 100 cars, every, anybody or has to go and park either on the shoulder or um, don't come. So, and which is dangerous. I have seen accident. I have seen um, the resentment from the local neighborhood when they see so many Muslim parking and they couldn't get through that area. They had to wait 20 to 25 minutes sometime, particularly during the Friday prayer or sometime even half an hour to pass through that road to reach their house. So you can imagine how much resentment they would have it. And I won't blame them because um, they would, and there are so many churches, none of them had those issues. So I, I would say that they should look and uh, buy the property, particularly the property which is now um, used in uh, being used by the Tarbia, that would be a good place to expand. Mm. Um. History wala part to you, okay, history be future. On a separate note, jo ke shayad maybe ek a sound bite jo hai, koi ek a tarbiya ka commercial banana ho, to uske liye istamal ki ja sakti. So, what do you think? What has what has tarbiya brought to the community? Oh, uh, regarding tarbiya, I would say the tarbiya is, I would say, is a blessing. Or is a help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In a way, as I s said that, even during the uh, early stages of the IAD school, our uh, uh, approach was for 50 to 60 students, maximum 80 students. We, our budget, the first budget which we developed uh, was considering students 60 to 80 students. Because we thought that that would be uh, the goal to acquire 60 to 80 student and, uh, and so all our initial budget was based on the census of 60 to 80 student and as Tarbiya came they started a healthy competition I have seen over 300 students coming there because both the school is starting it looks like more interest in providing better standards of education and uh, so I think the, the biggest thing is uh, um, that Tarbiya has brought is a healthy competition. The second thing I have seen myself in the Tarbiya, which I am very much impressed, that they are bringing very poor students from the Wilmington. And uh, that was something I was always dreamed to bring students from the Wilmington because there are many new Muslims and the problem with the new Muslims is they accepted Islam and the Muslim then left them isolated. And oftentimes you will find them, they uh, went back to, to whatever the religion they came before. It is very important once a, a person accepted Islam, they should become the member of the community and sh that person and, and their children should be provided healthy education, Islamic education and education in such a way that they don't consider Islam that some sort of a religion of restrictions after restriction after restriction, but a religion which provide peace and help and uh, family values. Um, so uh, that I, I have seen that in Tarbiya many students are coming from Wilmington uh, and I don't know how they are doing it, but I have seen whenever I go there many even the teachers are coming from there and the students were coming from there so that's a very good approach and my feeling is that the uh, they had approached the Wilmington mosque to work with them and I think that's a very good approach ISD should also try to uh, work with the other mosque including the Wilmington mosque to bring their student 
in whatever capacity if they don't afford provide them free education and that was always the, the goal in the alham we, uh, alham we never stop anybody from the school i remember there is one family who moved to deliver for the sake of their uh, children going to the school and they have only one student for that class mm -hmm. and we, we decided not to have that class but we started that class for the sake of one student so i think um, the the positive thing i'm seeing is that healthy competition second thing their outreach program is excellent um, they both the school now is have to think about bringing children from far places as as i mentioned the newark is surrounded by many towns and uh, so that is i think is a contribution from uh, tarbia and plus with the addition of tarbia i think the first time we are not only thinking about the elementary and secondary we are thinking now high school i mean couple of years ago we did not even discuss whether we should go for high school today it is in our mind how to utilize the momentum to make the high school aur kuch kehna cha rahe hain ab bataye anything else summary kar deta hu mere liye theek uh the summary is i mean that uh, as a muslim particularly uh, uh, living in a non um, uh, islamic um, environment we have a responsibility and the responsibility is not only to provide uh, islamic education to our children because as is stated in the hadith that when a person dies he would carry three things and one of the thing that he will left is their children and uh, providing good education islamic education is a responsibility on every, every parent and would be asked on the day of judgment so it's a responsibility but we cannot just stop our responsibility here we also know that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam have given us the responsibility to convey the message to all the mankind so that implies that our responsibility doesn't end on our family our responsibility is to spread the message of islam to all the human being and this could only be done if we develop a healthy muslim community a community who practice islam uh, a community who are um uh, who are not arrogant a company a community who are not just focal to their own needs a community who are willing to help the non muslims a community who create a, a place uh, within the community that they are the part of their community they do not just isolate themselves and focus their uh, goals to themselves their goal should be for the broader uh, co uh, community goal including the non muslims and uh, spread the uh, dawa program with hikma and uh, but there is always whenever you start something uh, you may have mishaps and uh, Uh, you will see if you go any uh, any good project that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala ultimately help you if your intentions are sincerely for the sake of Allah. The only thing is you need to be um, persistent and you should be able to stand the hardship and ask the help of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and never think that this is impossible. or this is so small what is the point of doing it um with the help of allah and um, with the help of the um, bringing the community together we can uh, uh, achieve multiple task like that and uh, the another problem i have seen which we have to work is we try to make everything political um uh you you have seen in the mosque politics or school politics whatever politics you will see so we have to first focus what what is our intention our intention is for the sake of allah or our intention is to acquire worldly fame or name if the intention is for the sake of allah 
we should continue if the intention is for the sake of worldly um, fame then we have to think about it because that becomes a punishment on the day of judgment so it is very important to clear our intentions and once we clear our intention our approach will be more sincere and do not think that if somebody else is saying something which they don't like it means they belong to another group or it means they don't like you every human being has a opinion and you have to respect everybody's opinion this is one of the approach we had in the um, alam school that we respect everybody's approach everybody's opinion and then we come up with a consensus opinion this part i have seen in many organization lacking that anybody who is speak something which the organization and i don't want to quote any name i'm not trying to put any name but i have seen generally if somebody is saying something which one person or the um the chief of that person whether you call him amir or president or imam um, do not agree then they think that person is not a part of that organization or should not be the part of them we have to understand that every human being is different and we have to take everybody's opinion and try to develop a consensus opinion and once we approach 